Thank you very much. You know, as we listen to our national anthem, it reminds us how blessed we are to live in a land where our boys and girls can grow up in a peaceful world. And on today, our hopes for peace for boys and girls everywhere extends across the world, especially in the Middle East. Today's actions in the Middle East remind us that the United States and friends and allies must work for sustainable peace, particularly for the sake of children. And so I want to welcome you here to the White House. What an honor to be with the Commissioner, Willie Mays. <laughs> See, when I was growing up, I wanted to be the Willie Mays of my generation. Then I couldn't hit a curveball. So instead, I ended up being president. <laughs> Laura and I welcome you here along with the commissioner. It's a proud day for us to welcome. A little hot for baseball, but I know these teams are up for it. First, I want to welcome the Civitan Club of Frederick Challengers from Thurmont, Maryland. <laughs> We're glad you all are here. We also want to welcome the mayor, Mayor Marty Burns of Thurmont. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Thanks for coming. There he is. Marty used to work at Camp David, by the way. I also want to welcome the Challenger Braves from Shady Spring, West Virginia. We welcome both teams, the coaches, the helpers, and the families. We're glad you're here. We're lucky today to have not only one major leaguer, but three major leaguers with us. Coaching first base, the lefty, Al Leiter. Welcome, Al. And third base, Dan Wilson. Glad you're here, Dan. Thanks for coming. Proud you're here. Uh, we welcome Steve Keeners, the president and CEO of Little League International. We want to thank the Girl Scout Council of the nation's capital who carried the colors. I want to thank Nicola Cousis, who sang the national anthem. Nicola, you did a fabulous job here on the South Lawn. Thank you. She did a good job, didn't she? Not only a good job, but a great job. Now, we're lucky today to have um, an old hand at calling this game, the former announcer of the Washington Senators, Charlie Brotman. Welcome, Charlie. Glad you're here. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Mr. President. Glad you're here. And finally, we have a tradition here, and that is we actually don't throw out the first ball. We actually put the first ball on the tee. And joining me today is Kevin Turley. He's a Special Olympics gold medalist. Kevin, thanks for coming. Thank you for being a part of this. You ready? Everybody ready? And right before we play ball, we'll give the Little League pledge. Ready for the pledge? I trust in God. I love my country and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win. But win or lose, I will always do my best. Play ball. Mr. President, after 50 years of introducing various presidents of the United States, you can imagine what a thrill it is for me to actually have a president introduce me. Thank you. If my voice sounds a little familiar to some of you, you probably must be over 40 years of age. And, and if you're younger than 40, well, this is the voice that your parents and grandparents heard as the voice of the Washington Senators at Griffith Stadium. Well, today I'm honored to be the voice of T-Ball on the South Lawn. Today's game will feature two teams from the Little League Challenger Division. The Challenger Division provides opportunities for all of these special kids to enjoy our national pastime. And all of the players will be accompanied by buddies. And those buddies will help whenever necessary. And now it's play ball, as the president said, and the first team to the plate is going to be the Thurmont Little League Civitan Club of Frederick Challengers. 
All right, the leadoff batter, Jimmy Britton, number 11. Jimmy says he likes to play the outfield because he can lie down in the grass. He says, my favorite baseball player is my daddy. All right, Jimmy Britton, come on up. We need a lot of encouragement because Jimmy's up there to get a base hit. Oh, Jimmy says his favorite school subject is math. He's five years old. Here he is. He's taken. He's taking a look at the ball. He doesn't know whether it's going to be a curve, a fastball, a slider. He's almost ready. He's the leadoff batter, Jimmy Britton, from Walkersville, Maryland. All right, the defense has taken their position on the outfield. That's the Shady Spring Little League. Jimmy's known to be a good base hitter, so they're scattering all around the infield and outfield. Okay, Jimmy, you have the bat. Ready, set. All right, strike one. Here comes another one. Try again. Hey, it's a big hit. And there he goes down to first base. Base hit. All right, batting in the second position, number 13 is Taylor Keim. Now Taylor is a slugger. He's got a man on first base. Okay, here comes the pitch. Taylor's watching. Ready to swing. Good hit! Racing down to first base. It looks like another single. Two men on. And the third batter coming to the plate. Number 14, Brian Matthews. Oh, Brian wants to be an inventor when he gets a little bit older. He says, I like to play ball. My dad played baseball. My grandpa played and coached. Okay. What a swing. What a swing. All right. It looks like bases loaded. And here comes the cleanup batter. Batter number four. Wearing number 16, Richard Matthews. Let's have a nice welcome for Richard. He wants to be a photographer when he gets a little older. Uh, he's a big boy. Here it goes. What a hit. What Base knock. And look, he's going to clear those bases. There's one run scoring. Well, we have a little bit of a, uh, uh, a crowd at second base there. Oh, but he returns to first just in time. All right. The number five batter, number 17, Matthew McGrady. Matthew from Lewistown, Maryland. He loves wrestling. Whoa, the fair ball. Yes, it's going to drop in. And here comes another score and another. Bases are loaded. We're leaving it all up to the next batter. Number 18, it's player number six, Daniel Vila. All right, Daniel. Now, Daniel wants to be a video game designer or a movie director. And I know he'll make it. He's taking a good aim at that ball. Uh, one, two, three. Let her go. All right. Just get, he gets another shot. That was a foul ball. 
Daniel Vila, at bat, bases are loaded. Here it comes. It's okay. It's a foul ball, so you get another shot. Oh, Daniel's. Hi, Daniel. Take a good look. That's good. That's a good one. All right, let's see how he gets down to first base. He's, a, he, he's being pushed by his buddy, Garrett Ellis, and he's making it. He's safe. What a nice hit by Daniel Vila. Good going. Number 22 is up next. He is the player number seven, Casey Mins. All right, Casey, you got men on base. Nope, foul ball. The announcer is also the official referee, umpire, and chief dishwasher. Okay, that was a foul ball, but it was a good swing. All right, Casey. What a hit. That, that's fair ball. The coach says it's fair ball. Keep running. Keep running. That's it. Look, he's looks like he's going to. We got men on second and third, and who do we have coming up? But batter number eight, Troy Basie, number twenty-eight. All right, they're all looking for you, Troy. We need you from Frederick, Maryland. He wants to be a baseball player or a sports announcer, maybe both. All right. All right, Troy Basie from Walkersville, Maryland at bat. Men on second and third. Good hit. Wow. Line drive to center field. Good base hit. And another score. All right, we're coming up to player number nine. He wears uniform number 29. It's Jordan Jason. Hi, right, Jordan. You got men on base. Jordan says, I like being part of my team, and someday I want to hit a home run. Jordan, this might be the time. Oh, that looks like a homer. Wow. Wow. Good hit. There, they're still running. They're still running. Oh, good slide. That was a close play at third. That was terrific. All right, our next batter. Adam Novacek, number 30, from Lewistown, Maryland. Says Cal Ripken is his idol, favorite ball player. Okay, Adam. Eye on that ball. Give it a good swing. What a nice hit. Okay. Here comes Nicholas Novacek to help out Adam. And they're going down to first base. It's going to be a close play. And it looks like Adam Novacek is safe at first. Good hit, Adam. All right, player number 11 is up at that. Number 34, David Matthews. David likes anything about trains. He wants to be a train conductor, and I know he'll be a good one. Okay, David, from Johnsville, Maryland. You ready? Here it comes. Ready, go. Okay. That's a good hit. Good hit. Run to first. What a nice hit. All right, man on first and third. And up comes number 54, Ashley Grafham. All right, Ashley, I know you're going to be doing terrific. Ashley's from Thurmont, Maryland. And what, she, what Ashley is saying, her 
best baseball position is wheeling around the bases in my wheelchair. And you're going to be doing some wheeling around. Nice hit. Oh, Alec Owens is the buddy helping Ashley. And a couple of RBIs. Nice hit, Ashley Grafham. Okay, that brings up lucky number 13. Uniform number number 55 from Thurmont, Maryland. Robert Schaffner. Robert Schaefer. Robert Schaefer is up at bat waiting for that ball. Okay, Robert. I know you're going to hit a good one on this one. All right. Ready, set, go. Hey, nice hit. Beautiful. And Colin Schilt is helping Robert. Colin is the buddy. And here goes Robert. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. You drove in one run. Here comes another run. Come on all the way in. Come on in. It's going to be a home run for Robert. Keep it going. Good one. Another RBI. Robert Schaefer is rounding second, going for third. I think he needs a lot of encouragement from the fans. Can he make it? Can he, he can make it to third. Can he make it home? Will this be a home run? The crowd is cheering. Come on, Robert. Hey, he made it. Wonderful. What a home run. Cleared the bases. That was spectacular. Wow. Everybody got up. Everybody got up for the Thurmont Little League. And now it's time for the defense to go on offense. We're talking about the Shady Spring Little League Challenger Braves. Wow. You got to get, how about a nice hand for the defense? Boy, they really played well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now, it's take me out to the ball game. Are you ready? A one, two, one, two, three, all together. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with a crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. We didn't say you had to be good, just loud. You guys were terrific. All right, the roles have reversed themselves. It looks like Shady Spring Little League Challenger Braves. They're coming up. Okay, the leadoff batter, number 15, Timothy Christensen. Timothy, a nice hand for Timothy. We asked Timothy what he wanted to be when he got a little bit older, and he says, I want to be the person you pay when you go to the store. He's going to be the secretary of the treasurer, no question. Okay, Timothy. All right, we need a ball up there for Timothy. He looks like a good batter. Whoa, good hit, Timothy. Run, keep running, Timothy. And Timothy is helped by Alyssa Christensen. All right, batter number two. He's number 16 on his uniform. Brianna Cumberledge from Beckley, West Virginia. Okay, Brianna. Brianna. 
What a great hit. Safe at first. All right, that's the number two batter. Now we've got number three. The number three batter wears uniform number 17, Christian Sizemore. Hi, right, Christian. When we asked Christian what's her favorite book, Christian said, I love you, stinky face. That must really be a fun book. And why do you like to play baseball? She says, being with my friends and going around the bases really fast in my wheelchair. All right, Kristen. Here's it. A beautiful hit. Blair Williams is the buddy. And they're safe at first. Good play. All right. The cleanup batter is ready. Uniform number 20, Chad Taylor. Let's hear it for Chad. Chad wants to be a doctor when he gets older. Hi, right, Chad. We got a lot of people on base, so you got to hit a good one. I know it, he looks like he's winding up. There's a good hit. I right, run it out. And Megan Lilly is helping. What a nice hit. And We've got oh, safe at home. Safe. All right, batter number five is our next batter. He's wearing uniform number 21. Brian Faust. Brian, how about a nice hand for Brian? Hi, Brian's. Favorite TV program is Leave It to Beaver. Who remembers Leave It to Beaver? That's everybody's favorite. All right, Brian Faust. All right, this is going to be a good one, Brian. All right, good luck, Brian. Nice hit. And Sarah Faust is the buddy. And he's coming home. Nope. The, the official umpire calls him safe. Good play. Nice running the bases. All right, it looks like bases are full, and that brings up player number six, wearing uniform number 22, Joshua Matherly. All right, Josh. All right, Joshua Matherly, looks like big boy, looks like home run material here. Okay, is everybody ready? Ready, set, go. Good hit. Oh, look at that, making his way down to first base. And look who's coming home, safe. He slid into home plate safely. What a professional runner. All right, that was really exciting. All right, we're coming now to player number seven. Watch out. Okay, player number seven. We got bases loaded. Maddie Matney. Maddie Matney, number 23. Brandon Humphreys, her buddy. Okay, Maddie, I know you're going to really hit this one good. All right, let her fly. That's right, don't hit anybody. Good hit. Oh, yeah. Brandon Humphrey is helping, and there's another run. Just terrific. Shady Spring is doing terrific in the blue. All right, we're to player number eight for Shady Spring. Brian McDaniels, number 24. Okay, Brian. Got a lot of men on base, Brian. Brian says that he loves model railroading. Well, you're the chief right now. Okay, Brian, a nice hand for Brian. All right, bases are loaded. 
Let's see what you can do here, Brian. What a hit! Oh, a home run! David Parker, his buddy. A good, safe slide. He's clearing the bases. Over the fence. Brian McDaniel. Hey, Brian, lift your cap and say, hey, there you are. Anybody that's a home run deserves another round of applause. Wow. That was spectacular. Okay, to player number nine, wearing uniform number 31, Marissa Hefner. I know Marissa's going to really do well. She says her favorite food is key lime pie. I know she's got to be strong from key lime. All right, all right. Seven years old, in the second grade, Marissa Hefner from Beckley, West Virginia. A Carrie Krager is helping out. All right, Carrie, let's go with Marissa. A single for Marissa. Very good. All right, player number 10, wearing uniform number 32, Kenneth Blevins. All right, Kenneth. Kenneth says he loves agricultural mechanics, and that's what he likes about school. All right, Kenneth Blevins, number 32. A player is on first base. All right, take your time, Kenneth. Oh, yeah, I think Kenneth is going to do some good on this one. Oh, okay, a little foul ball. All right, Kenneth is going to try again. Kenneth is 16 years old. All right, foul ball. It's okay. Got another shot coming up. All right. All right. No problem, Kenneth. Okay, now he's got it lined up. There's a beautiful hit. Kenneth goes to first. Uh, and it looks like Marissa safe at second base. Good play, Marissa. All right, player number 11, Jessica Cox, number 36 on the uniform, 14 years old, from Shady Springs, West Virginia. Okay, Jessica Cox, number 36, coming to the plate. And her mom, Charlotte Cox, is her buddy. Okay, Jessica. Oh, what a hit! What a hit! She's going down to first. It's very close. She's safe. It looks like bases are loaded. And it looks like our final batter for the team, Shady Spring. They're leaving it up to Jonathan Cox, uniform number 39. Matthew Krager is the buddy. 
Is it going to be a big winning? We hope that it's going to be clear the bases. All right, Jonathan Cox. All right, Jonathan, if, when you hit this one, don't stop. Keep going. Ready, set, go. All right, one, one more shot, one more shot. Jonathan Cox, do it. There it is. There. Keep him going, Matthew Krager. Keep him going. No, didn't carry the back. Keep going. He's going for two. Will he make it to second? Hey, the overthrow. Go for third. Come on, Jonathan. Jonathan, you're doing terrific. One more. Let's go one more base. One more base. The throw to the plate is not in time. Here comes. It's an inside the park home run for Jonathan Cox. You only got a little bit more to go. It's going to be a tough one. Here comes the play at the plate. It's going to be close. Jonathan Cox slides in. He's safe. What a wonderful hit. Wow, this is better than any All-Star game. This is the real McCoy. Congratulations to both teams. We have a committee to, to, to actually vote on the most valuable player today. And it was a tie. Every single player is the most valuable player. And now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, please stay in your seats for a special presentation by the President. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things we like to do here is to honor those who volunteer in our communities today. I want to pay a special tribute to Pete Scampovia. He is a youth volunteer. Pete, come on over. Come on, Pete. Pete takes time out of his life to help others realize the great blessings of this country. Pete, we're glad you're here. Congratulations. A little pen for you, buddy. Who's with you? Your mom? Welcome. Thank you. Let's get a picture. Come on. Come on, Willie. Get in here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the president will now distribute some baseballs. I'll name the names on the lineup and the president and Willie Mays. All right, here we go. Jimmy Britton, number one. Jimmy. Boy, what a thrill. What a nice photograph. And Jimmy's buddy, of course, is Brad Litlett. And now Taylor Kime. And buddy, Jordan Kimmett. All right, next is Brian Matthews, 
and Buddy Brent Heinzold. Boy, this is a photograph that you'll remember for a lifetime. Matthew. All right, Matthew McGrady, get ready. And uh, your buddy, Leanne Adams. All right, now it's a Daniel Vila and your buddy Garrett Ellis. Hi, Casey Minns with your buddy Benjamin Tadicki. I get ready, Troy Basie and Joshua Lallimore. Joshua Lallimore, the buddy, with Troy Basie. Uh, Jordan Jason and Joseph Johnson. Go get him, Jordan. Adam Nowachek and your buddy Nicholas Nowachek. Hi, right, David Matthews and your buddy Kella Maxey. Go get him, David. All right, David Matthews coming up. And Kelamaxi. Ashley Grafham and Alec Owens. And now it's Robert Schaefer with his buddy, Colin Schild. Okay, now that completes the lineup for the Thurmont Little League. And now we go over to the Shady Spring Little League. Oh, we have Richard Matthews with the Thurmont Little League. Richard Matthews and uh, his buddy Nicholas Maxey. We were saving the best for last. All right, it's time now for the Shady Spring Little League and the leadoff will be Timothy Christensen and his buddy Alicia Christensen. All right, Brianna Cumberledge. Brianna, bring along your buddy Susan Wright. Brianna Cumberledge.
Kristen Sizemore. Your turn up. Bring along your buddy, Blair Williams. Hi, Chad Taylor. You're next. And your buddy, Megan Lilly. Chad and Megan, next up. Brian Faust. And your buddy, Sarah Faust. Remember, you can smile out there. This is the photo of the years. All right, Joshua Matherly and your buddy, Justin Matherly. Joshua and Justin. Maddie Matney and Brandon Humphrey. All right, next photo, Brian McDaniels and your buddy, David Parker. Okay, we have Brian and David up there now. Next up is Marissa Hefner and Carrie Krager. Marissa and Carrie, you're up. <laughs> Kenneth Blevins and Kelly Lilly. Kenneth Blevins and Kelly Lilly. It's photo time. Jessica Cox, Jessica Cox, Charlotte Cox. So it's Jessica and Charlotte Cox. Next up at the photo gallery. I, Jonathan Cox, and Matthew Krager. Jonathan Cox, Matthew Krager. That completes the Shady Spring Little League. But now, if the uh, coaches and managers will step up for their photograph, all the coaches and all the managers, that's it. Come on out. We just want to say thank you guys for doing a marvelous job. Just marvelous. Thank you. While they're taking their final pictures, we have one question for everybody, and that is, did you have fun? Would you like to thank President Bush for having such an outing as this?
And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please join us for a picnic on the South Lawn. It's where the picnic tables are. And thank you so much for coming, and we do hope you had a most enjoyable afternoon. Thank you.